What's your first organized basketball team you played for and how old were you? The first organized basketball team I played for was the Super Bowl Bears. Lady Bears. I say Lady Bears. I was on the all girl team. I was playing up a little bit. I was playing by grade level. And I was when you come to work out, what's your concentration? What do you really think you need to hit hard when you come to the gym and work out? Uh, when I come to the gym, I try to stay focused. I try to stay locked in the whole time, working on stuff that I can use in the game. I'm working on my mid-range so I can extend my game a little bit. What do you think your best asset is on the court? My best asset would be my speed. I'm faster than a lot of people. I know that 
when I was young, I used to race all the boys in the neighborhood. And I was always passing them. I used to run track when I was little. So speed has always been my thing that I was born with, kind of, sort of. And I used to run <laughs> During your freshman JUCO season, what team do you think was the, the hardest to play against or, or matched up well against you to try to stop you? I don't want to sound cocky, but I feel like no team did that. Uh, I still show respect to those teams. I'm trying. I've been locked down mm -hmm. by a triple, uh, by uh, the triangle in one, triangle in two. I don't think. That, don't sound cocky to me at all. Sound like you're confident in that. What was your reaction when you found out you made third team NJCAA D2 All-American? I know you had to be excited about that. Um, when I found out, I was the last to find out, so it was a huge accomplishment for me, but I feel like I have a lot more in the tank, and I'm just getting started. Yep, so making uh, third team as a freshman seemed like you might be shooting for player of the year or something with some of these stats that you led the nation in assists. 9.7 rebounds a game, over 50% from the free, uh, from the three-point line, and 16 points a game. That's definitely not bad for a freshman. So, uh, do you think you need to raise your awareness in any of these areas, or are you just going to continue to grow as a process? I'm just going to continue to grow. Take my, take my game wherever it takes me. Looking beyond College of Southern Maryland, where do you figure you can fit in with a team after that and what level you think you can play at? Uh, my dream were to go D1. It didn't happen that way when I first started, but I still haven't had that dream to go. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's still in the, in the reach of my arms. I still can get a grasp of it. So I'm still working on that and trying to get to my dreams. Mm -hmm. your ultimate goal with basketball? My ultimate goal would be to take it as far as it takes me. To be honest. As long as I keep putting in the work, I feel like I have no limits. What was the main difference between uh, the competition in college compared to the competition in high school? Uh, the competition in college, you can expect every girl to be able to contribute to the game. You can't take anybody for granted. In high school, it's a lot of time for girls just there on the court just to be a body. And in college, you can't expect that at all. So was there a difference? Because in high school, you probably played what, 18 scheduled games. And if you made the playoffs, you might have made it to 21, 22 games. Now, I see you in college, you played 27 games. So did the season kind of take its toll on you, starting uh -huh. earlier and finishing later? Because I think the JUCO season might start around about November. And then ends in like March, so did it take its toll on you or anything? It did slightly, but I make sure I take care of my body. Okay. Anytime I feel any pain or anything, I make sure I ice. Okay. Uh, I take this ointment that I have mm -hmm. in my knees and stuff, so I try to make sure my body stays okay. right and try to press up a lot. I try to stay my feet. All right. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. You're welcome.